Hello everyone and welcome back to another screencast on geometry and measure. It's line symmetry today. It's going to be easy peasy, lemon squeezy. It's all about memory. You'll already know a lot of the information and if you use your common sense, you're not going to be too far away from what you need to know. What is line symmetry? So we can see here on this picture, we've got our building. Um, I'm actually not sure what this is. I should know that, shouldn't I? But I don't. And we've got like what we call a mirror line. And it looks exactly the same in the mirror line as it does in real. So it's a mirror or a reflection of the shape. That is the line of symmetry. And where that line happens on this occasion, it happens at the water's edge. So that's what we're looking for. We're looking for or imagining that something looks exactly the same way through a line of symmetry. Another name for reflection symmetry, one half is is the reflection of the other half, the line of symmetry. Hopefully that makes sense. I think I murdered that, but we'll move on anyway. What are the shapes that we need to know? So these are the shapes that we're going to have to name in our tests and exams. So we need to write these down, copy these out, please. So we've got an isosceles triangle. So that is where we have two sides the same length uh, and one, one side which is different which we hopefully know with angles means that these base angles will be the same. We need to know that one. We need to know a rectangle, which I'm sure all of us know. Then we've got our square. We've got our parallelogram. We've got an equilateral triangle. So all of these sides are the same length. All of the angles inside are the same. And last but not least, we've got a regular hexagon. So a regular means... So regular means all the sides are the same length. A little bit like an equilateral triangle, regular shapes. This is a regular triangle. We call it an equilateral triangle. This is a regular hexagon. Okay, so what we need to know is how to work them out. So how many lines of symmetry do you think an isosceles triangle has? So I would like you as we go along to sort of preempt and think about what you think the answer would be before I then click and give you the answer. So hopefully you've had some time to think about that. Well, the isosceles triangle only has one line of symmetry. This is like the mirror. It's exactly the same from one side to the other side. It only has one line of symmetry. Okay, the next one is a rectangle. How many lines of symmetry do you think a rectangle has? Hopefully, you're all saying two lines of symmetry. We've got a line of symmetry through there. But if we flip that round, we'd also have a line of symmetry through there. It looks the same this way as it does that way, and this way as it does that way. If we put one through here, they wouldn't be the same. Okay, so that's just something to remember, something to think about. The next one up was a square. How many lines of symmetry does a square have? So let's have a look at this now. We've got one there. We've got two there, we've got three there, and we've got four there. They all are the same. It's cutting them in half. It's exactly the same from one side to the other side. Let's move on now. We've got a parallelogram. How many lines of symmetry do you think a parallelogram has? I'm hoping you've all said it only has none, has no lines of symmetry, zero, okay? Because if we cut it through the middle here, this is different to this. If we cut it through the side, we can see that this is different to this. If we cut it through here or there, it's all different. Okay, equilateral triangle. Let's bring it up now. How many lines of symmetry do you think that has? So let's have a look. We've got one through there, we've got two through there, and we've got one more which cuts through there. So three lines of symmetry. And last but not least, I'm sure that you're absolutely devastated to get to the last one. We have a regular hexagon. This is a tough one. How many lines of symmetry do you think a regular hexagon has? Let's draw it now. We've got one there. We've got one there. That's two. And then we've got three. 
Then we've got four. Then we've got five. Then we've got six. So it's got six lines of symmetry. Now, there is no replacing memory. The only way you're going to be able to do this is using your common sense, but having memory. So it's really important that if I go back, you copy these out, you really know them really well, so that when you're asked, you can just list your answers. So that is the next thing. We have to give you the quiz questions. We have to see what you know and what you don't know. But you've got to store it in your long-term memory and you've got to be able to retrieve it when you're in the test. So it is time for the quiz. What I would like you to do is draw the number of lines of symmetry for these shapes and name the shapes. Okay, they're very, very simple. Pause the video now, give it a go, come back and see if you've got it correct. Let's go everyone, so here is our answers. The first shape is a regular hexagon. Second shape is an equilateral triangle, square, parallelogram, rectangle and isosceles triangle. You can see there that the lines of symmetry, let's bring them up though. And the first one had six lines of symmetry. We have three lines of symmetry. Square has four lines of symmetry. Parallel, parallelogram, nothing, zero lines of symmetry. Rectangle two and Isosceles triangle one line of symmetry. I am absolutely positive you've done amazingly well. Always remember to make sure you write a good revision card. If you would like me to send you electronic copies of these, please give me a comment below and I can do that for you. But as always, and I say this at the end of everyone, but it is really a pleasure helping you with your maths. I know it's a massive part of people's lives. Some people love maths, some people hate maths, but trust me, you can be good at maths, and once you become good at maths, you'll love it. Until next time, it's always a pleasure. Enjoy the rest of your day or evening.